Hi, my name is Lauren with HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com. In today's video, I will explain how the fuel pressure regulator works. Take note that I will be focusing on fuel injected vehicles because those are the vehicles that we use today. In the past, before fuel injection systems were invented, the fuel was delivered to the cylinders using a carburetor. A fuel injection system delivers a more precise fuel mixture ratio, allowing your vehicle to perform better and reduce emissions. I will start by answering the most common questions. What is a fuel pressure regulator and how does it work? A fuel pressure regulator is a device designed to maintain proper fuel pressure. Each vehicle is equipped with a regulator that is preset to maintain fuel pressure for its particular engine. Okay. Inside the regulator housing there is a spring and a diaphragm. The spring has been preset by the manufacturer for the desired fuel pressure. The fuel pump has to pump enough fuel with enough pressure to supply fuel to the injectors. The extra fuel is sent back to the fuel tank through the fuel return line. When the vehicle is at idle, the fuel pressure is lower, usually 5 to 10 psi, depending on the vehicle. The high vacuum inside the intake manifold allows the regulator to lower the fuel pressure. The vacuum signal is sent to the regulator by using a vacuum hose attached directly to its top or its side, depending on its design. The most common mounting positions for the fuel pressure regulator is at the end of the fuel rail. This way, the fuel pressure remains constant. The fuel return line allows the excess fuel to travel back to the fuel tank. On most vehicles, this is usually attached next to the regulator. Take note that on some makes, the regulator is attached to the fuel pump module located inside the fuel tank. In some cases, the fuel filter is part of the fuel pump module located inside the tank. Due to their design, these tend to be more expensive than the more conventional system I described earlier. Some of the most common symptoms of a malfunctioning fuel pressure regulator, your vehicle may be hard to start, have a rough idle, black smoke, or excessive fuel consumption. Also, take note that there is not a specific OBD2 code for a malfunctioning fuel pressure regulator. For example, a malfunctioning regulator could trigger a bad oxygen sensor among other codes. This is because of the fact that the regulator is a mechanical device. It is important to test the fuel pressure when experiencing any of the symptoms I described earlier before replacing any parts on your vehicle. Thank you for watching this video on fuel pressure regulators. If you viewed this on our YouTube channel, feel free to look at our website, HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com, for more tutorials related to your vehicle.